The following program is being sponsored by Westinghouse, s and Bank, Penn State, Fayette, the Everly Campus, and by Croft Incorporated. There are hundreds of jobs available in Western Pennsylvania. Jobs for everyone from skilled laborers to executives, and they're available right now. Local companies are crying out for qualified workers to fill these jobs. And many of the best jobs have one thing in common. They're energy jobs. Energy represents almost 15% of our region's economic output, and the sector employs about 100,000 people locally. Looking ahead, these numbers are expected to grow at an accelerated rate, pouring billions of dollars into the region and creating thousands of new jobs, transforming Pittsburgh into an energy hub. But how do you find these new jobs in the energy field? How much do they pay? And where can you get the training to prepare yourself for our energy future? Find out tonight as we investigate the job opportunities available in the rapidly growing energy field. Natural gas, solar energy, wind power, coal, nuclear energy, green building, and energy transmission and distribution. Our region is a top 25 employer in all seven of the energy-related industries. And moving forward, our burgeoning energy-related industries will continue providing the spark, fueling jobs for our future. And now your host, Bill Flanagan. Fueling jobs. While unemployment in some parts of the country has hovered in double digits, here in our region the impact has been far less severe. And one of the key drivers of our local economy has been energy. Capitalizing on our natural assets, engineering and manufacturing expertise, and our capacity to innovate, our region has become a leader in new investment and expanded opportunities in the energy field. Tonight we focus on how these developments are energizing our economy and creating opportunity. Our region is home to seven sub-sectors within the broader energy field. Natural gas, coal, solar, wind power, energy transmission and distribution, nuclear power, and green building and a top 25 employer in all seven of those fields. Tonight we'll discuss the bright future of the industries that produce, distribute, and conserve energy, and the innovation that fuels all of them. And we'll let you know how you can prepare yourself to participate in our bright energy future. Career and job opportunities are growing here every day. To help you take advantage of the opportunities available, a bank of phone operators is standing by to answer your employment questions and steer you in the right direction. Shelly Duffy is at that phone bank with more. Thanks, Bill. I'm here at our phone banks where some dedicated volunteers from PA CareerLink are standing by to help connect job seekers with opportunities in the energy field. If you have questions about jobs within our region's energy sector, you can call us during the program tonight and get answers. Our phone number is 412-333-WPXI and our volunteers from PA CareerLink will be standing by to answer your questions throughout tonight's program. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Shelley. Joining us now is Dennis Yablonski, CEO of the Allegheny Conference on Community Development. And Dennis, I'm wondering when you look at the energy industry, I mean, just how big a part of our regional economy does it represent? Probably bigger than most people realize. It's almost $14 billion, which is about 10, 12 percent of our regional economic output already in that one industry sector. Wow, $14 billion. And so what is that up to in terms of the numbers of companies and employers out there? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's over 700 companies, you know, many of them now involved in the supply chain and growing. There's about a, a hundred new companies that have come on to this industry in the last uh, five years or so. Um, and over a hundred thousand people are employed directly or indirectly in this industry right now, which is a big chunk of our employment base as well. So 700 companies, are they expanding? Are they moving into the region? Are you seeing growth among them? Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of the two. I mean, uh, last year there were 272 company expansion projects in the region. Of those, 77 were energy, and uh, and it was all of the seven sectors. Clearly, natural gas was the biggest. It was was about uh, half of the 72, but plenty in power management and in solar and in wind and in nuclear and in green building as well. Um, and uh, expansions both of companies, m matter of fact, most of those were existing companies in the region who were growing as a result of this. And then there are still some people moving in from out of town try trying to take advantage of this and to fill out the supply chain in the various sectors. So then when you look at all that, the 700 companies, their number growing, a, a lot going on, what does that translate into in, the to in terms of the total number of people 
people who work in these industries in the region. Yeah, it's, it's a little over 100,000 people right now, growing very rapidly, and a range of jobs from entry to very senior level uh, across the board, and uh, we're trying our best to, to make sure people are aware of these opportunities and to try to fill these jobs with local folks. Well, I would think, too, a lot of people get focused on a particular industry and wonder if it's going to be there for the long haul, but it sounds like if you've got the right skills, you could work in lots of different industries, uh, That's right? absolutely correct. There are certain occupations, uh, they aren't all jobs that aren't drilling sites, you know, <laughs> which are very narrowly specific. Uh, there's plenty of engineering and, and, and other kinds of jobs that span all seven of these sectors as well as span some other industries. So I think this is an area where if people can get trained and get knowledgeable, it'll enhance their career over a long period of time. All right, very good. Dennis Yablonski from the Allegheny Conference. Thanks so much. Thanks, Appreciate Joel. It. Good to be with you. So the good news is there are economic opportunities out there for folks who know where to look. And when we return, we'll look into the opportunities available in the big dog in our energy yard. Stay with us. When Fueling Jobs continues, we'll highlight one of our fastest growing energy sectors, natural gas. With billions of dollars in annual economic output in Pennsylvania, the natural gas industry continues to grow, taking on thousands of new workers every year. Find out more when Fueling Jobs continues.